on Miami, we are so back! Swifties, did you catch Taylor Swift's final show in Miami? If you dozed off or missed the action, don't worry, because I've got you covered with everything you need to know. But first, I have to ask, how did you score on Mastermind tonight? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's talk about tonight's biggest surprise. Taylor gave us only one new outfit this time, but don't underestimate it. It's her eighth fresh look in Miami, and tonight, she showed off a stunning pink and orange ombre dress for the surprise song. I have a new dress just for you. Thank you for noticing. But what were the songs? Any guesses? Well, grab your guitars. Because Taylor mashed up all you had to do was Stayin' Out of the Woods from 1989. And if you thought that was it, think again. On the piano, she performed Mirrorball and gave it a folklore twist by mixing it with Guilty as Sin from the Tortured Poets Department. Unexpected, right? Now here's where things get interesting. We've seen Taylor bring out her iconic black and gold reputation bodysuit yet again, marking its third Miami appearance. Is she sending a message? Or is this a new era favorite? And can we talk about Florence Welch? She joined Taylor for the third time in Miami. But here's the big question. Will she continue for the rest of the tour? Or was this her last bow with Taylor? What do you think? Speaking of appearances, Paul Mescal was spotted in the crowd. And rumor has it, he was there for Gracie Abrams. Now, I know what you're wondering. Did Taylor shout out the Chiefs tonight? You bet she did. The Chiefs had a game. And though she couldn't be there, Taylor still gave them a nod by changing the lyrics in Karma to Karma is the guy on the Chiefs. Subtle, but we see you, Taylor. And get this, tonight marks the last tonight, ever rain tonight, show on the Eras Tour. Last night, tonight was the very last opportunity we possibly could have had on the Eras Tour to have a rain show because every stadium from here on out is indoors. So yeah! Taylor took a moment during Betty to reflect on how much she loves rain shows knowing this was the final one, because from here on out, every venue is indoors. It's an end of an era within the era's tour. Finally, Taylor ended the night with a cheeky line during We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, saying, This is exhausting. Exhausting, maybe, but she's still got four stops left. So, Miami, that's a wrap, but the story isn't over yet. Next up, Taylor's in New Orleans. And trust me, you won't want to miss the surprises waiting there. Will there be new outfits, special guests? Let me know your theories in the comments. Until then, Swifties, keep scoring those mastermind points. Like and subscribe.